Hi, I'm Christy Clarkson, Marketing Specialist at Power Factors. Today I'm talking with Charlie Driscoll, our Head of Information Security. We'll be talking about how Power Factors' core value, trust, starts with security. Charlie's been with Power Factors since the very beginning and oversees everything cloud operations, IT, and information security. Let's jump back in. Okay, Charlie. As you are well aware, Power Factors makes significant investments in certifications, insurance, and security testing each year. Can you help us understand what this looks like in practice and why it's so important? Well, you actually didn't list it, but I think the most important investment is the time and the consideration from the very important people at the top of any enterprise. At the highest levels at Power Factors, we value security. And if you don't have that, it really doesn't matter how many dollars you throw at a problem like security, you need that support. When I look at Power Factors, we're owned by Vista Private Equity, which is great for us because they have 80 plus different SaaS portfolio companies that all need to ensure that they have security taken very seriously because they understand what it takes to secure a software application to make for a successful company. And then on top of that, we have what we call our Information Security Steering Committee. That committee meets on a quarterly basis, and we have our CEO, our CTO, our CFO, head of security. We have Vista CISO on it. We have members from our board of directors, and we only talk about cybersecurity. And having that ability to talk to the executives at Power Factors about the risks Power Factors is encountering from cybersecurity and the funding that we need is huge. That's really been the most important thing to our success is having the buy-in from the senior leadership at Power Factors. Once we have that buy-in, then we start seeing all the effects from that, right? So that's the dollars that we receive, which has been awesome, right? Those dollars allow us to go buy software packages where we can scan all our code that we're developing for any vulnerabilities that might be in open source libraries that we're importing, as well as the proprietary code that we wrote. It also allows us to go buy security tools that say, hey, we're going to have endpoint detection and response on every single laptop for employees at Power Factors, as well as every cloud endpoint that's running in our different cloud environments. So that's really a great place. And then additionally, from the executive staff, we're getting buy-in to go work with auditors, right? So we talked in a previous video about how it's really important that a vendor, if you're going to buy software from a third party, can prove that they take security seriously. I can tell you that we take security seriously, but it's a heck of a lot better if you have a third party independent who comes in and says, hey, I have reviewed power factors. They say they do change management and they adhere to proper processes. I actually validated it. We looked over a year sample and we saw that you guys had stuck to the policies that you've put in place. We've checked that you do disaster recovery testing. We check that you encrypt all your data, right? So that's where that like a SOC 2 audit comes into place and ISO 27001 certification comes in. That's really giving our customers the ability to trust power factors. And we can say, hey, look to these reports. This is how we're proving that we are making an investment in security. Our solutions are built on AWS and we are an AWS partner. How do our customers benefit from our ongoing collaboration with an established cloud provider like AWS? So first and foremost, we have the ability to work with AWS as a partner. So when it comes to our cloud infrastructure and the environment we've set up, we worked hand in hand with AWS to make sure that everything was set up in the most secure, compliant way possible. So at the highest level, we can think about we have a landing zone. In that landing zone, we're governing multiple AWS accounts. By having multiple AWS accounts, we limit the blast radius if something were to go wrong in our environments where a threat actor might be in one account, they can't necessarily traverse to another account, right? We isolate those things. We also worked with AWS at the start to be like, hey, we're going to have a centralized account for backups. We'll have a centralized account for audit logs. We'll figure out how we properly integrate identity management to say, hey, we will not have any basic IAM users and passwords in any account, right? We have policies in place to govern how these accounts are secured. And having AWS as a partner was instrumental in setting that up from the start. Other big benefit in terms of working with AWS and having this partnership is the doors that it opens for us and the people that we can talk to at AWS. So we have the ability to talk to lots of people within AWS who are working with other people in the renewable energy and just the overall energy sector as a whole of how are they securing their cloud workloads? How are they running a data lake and ensuring the security of that data lake in the cloud? 
how are they running websites and web endpoints and APIs, right? What are the things that they're doing? What are the technologies they're leveraging in AWS? What technologies should Power Factors be leveraging to make sure that we also are creating the most secure, compliant applications we can? So really having that ability to have a dialogue with a partner like AWS has been awesome. And then other things that the partnership affords us is we have like an enterprise support. So if something does go wrong, right, we have the ability to call specific contacts with AWS to make sure we can get our services up running again as fast as uh, possible. From a customer's perspective, they're going to benefit from that because we should be able to keep that downtime lower than it already is, right? If something does go wrong, we have the ability to recover. So reality, the partnership with AWS has been great from just an overall cloud operations and specifically to that security perspective to really get us with having a mature application that's secure and compliant for our customers. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us today, Charlie. We really appreciate your insights into what renewable energy owners, operators, and asset managers need to know about security and staying compliant now and into the future. Thanks for having me.